Hey, good evening. Thanks so much for being here tonight. It's uh, Monday, March 29th. And this is Monday of what well, Easter week, Holy Week. So I want to look at themes that relate to this most pivotal week in all of human history. And the title for tonight is Christ, Anxiety, and Easter. Now, Jesus didn't experience anxiety the way that we do, but he experienced things that would have brought, uh, brought us great anxiety. But he handled them much differently. See, he knows what's, he knows what's happening. This is at the end of his journey. You know, several weeks previous to this, they left uh, Jerusalem, I mean, left Galilee, walked down to Jerusalem, knowing that he was going to be crucified, knowing to his death. And now this is Monday, so he knows that early Friday, Thursday night, early Friday morning, he will be faced with being abandoned by his father, abandoned by his disciples and everyone around him. And then he's going to be confronted and pay the penalty for my sin, Jay's sin. All the sins that I ever did, all the sins that I did, you know, uh, unaware of, all of them. And then multiply that by the untold millions of Christians. And he took their sin upon, he knew that he was going to be guilty for me. And he would endure the wrath of his father and the separation from this perfect relationship of the Holy Trinity of Jesus, the Spirit, and the Father had been in perfect unity for all eternity. But now for this time, he would be separated from them and alone and guilty. So that's, that's a stress producer. And as we'll see later in the week, when we look at it, it was the stress was strong enough that he actually sweat blood. So this week, how does he act? Does he kind of roll up as a basket case? Does he do nothing? He just sits there and does nothing? Does he say, don't bother me right now. I've, I've got to get ready for this horrible thing that's going to happen to me? No, he is involved with people. He's teaching. He's cleansing the temple. He's preparing his disciples for what's about to happen. It's amazing. He is focused on doing the will of his Father. And that's, why he, that's how he deals with things that would cause you and me such anxiety and stress that we would, ba we would be basket cases. But Christ was focused on the mission of serving his Father. And that's how he thrived. That's how he honored God. And again, as we'll see later on this week, he brought honor to God, even in the midst of this great stress that he had. So this Easter week, Jesus knew what was happening. He was aware of it, fully conscious, fully cognizant, but it didn't deter him from doing the things that God wanted him to do and indeed, some of the most profound teaching in all of Scripture is in this last week of his life. He kept his focus on what God wanted him to be about. This week, let's consider the faithfulness of Christ and how he was faithful to God and knew that God would sustain him. Even with the worst circumstance anyone could ever imagine about to happen to him. Let that be our focus for this week. How did Jesus deal with things that would produce anxiety in us? He dealt with them by honoring his Father and doing the things that his Father wanted him to be about. And you and I can be encouraged for that because Paul says we should follow the model of Christ. And this is a beautiful way to do it. So this Easter week, let's not be oblivious. Let's not make this something which is commonplace to us, but rather the remarkable example of Jesus Christ, joyfully laying down his life for us 
and handling stress in a way that is honoring to God. And that's the thought for this night. Just keep praying that we would be worthy of what God's called us to do, not because of anything in us, but our actions would be consistent with what it means to know Christ, even in his darkest hour. And that's the thought for this night. Lord willing, we'll see you in the morning and you have a, you have a great evening rejoicing in how Jesus has cared for you and me. And he gave us a model how to deal with stress. You have a great night. Bye-bye.